What's up, nail geeks, and welcome back to a Chameleon Nails video. I feel like I have shown you Valerie's creations through Little Box of Horrors and through Polish Pickup, and I am incredibly honored and excited to show you all her first big collection that is launching on her site. I'm going to have all the uh, information at the uh, recap of the video, including how to purchase all that good stuff. Um, if you are new to Chameleon, I know, again, we've seen her through the collabs on the channel, but uh, she is a Germany based indie polish, which is really cool. I love how nail polish, especially indie polish, just kind of brings everybody from all over the world together. I know some of you are in the UK that are subscribed to me. And I know um, I do check out my analytics here and there. And it is incredible to me that there are just many, many different countries that tune in and we have makers from all over. That's just awesome. So we have a eight piece collection inspired by none other than The Witcher. I'm a massive fan of the video games. I'm a massive fan of the books. And I also love the Netflix adaptation of the books too. Who doesn't? Because Henry Cavill, I mean, I think we can all agree that is some serious eye candy there. We have lots and lots of glittery things to look at. We've got shimmers. There's just fantastic, fantastic inspirations. I'm so geeked and so honored I get to show you guys this. When Valerie reached out to me to ask if I wanted to work on it, I all but shouted at her, hell yes, give them to me. When can I post them? So these are going to be launching this week. So without further ado, let's dive in and check them out. And first up is Care Morin. This is described as a dark, smoky blue sheer base with a strong orange to gold to green shimmer. It does state in our PR information, this is strongly suggested to be worn at three coats. I do agree with that description. It is intentionally sheer because we have a polish packed full of shifty shimmer. So if a visible nail line bugs you, I would suggest a color correcting base coat of some type. My personal preference is a nude cream, nothing fancy. This has a smooth, smooth formula and it packs such a punch on that shifty shimmer. In indoor lights, you'll see that lovely reddish sort of pinky orange and that angles it's an easy shift over to gold and green this is going to layer up fantastically over other colors but personally i would wear this over a blue cream at two coats it's going to pop so ridiculously well and here is monster nest this is a pine green curly base with a variety of iridescent and ucc flakes finished off with a sprinkle of tiny black hollow glitters so this is what I would consider a monster green. It's very deep. I do agree. It's a pine type of green. I think my swatches pulled a little bit too light and I just wanted to really highlight that. I think my full hand shot gives you a better idea of what I'm seeing in person. This has a true jelly buildup. So at that third coat, you'll see pretty decent opacity, but I would suggest going in uh, pretty normal to regular on your coats. You'll want to be careful because it is a true jelly formula and it has a darker color that you're building up to. You'll want to make sure to paint as even as possible on your coats to prevent any sort of potential patchiness and finish with a good glossy top coat. And next is the Wild Hunt. This is an eggplant base with a strong green to purple shifting shimmer and white hex glitters in various sizes. This is one of my top picks in this set. It is so pretty. When you build it up, it's incredibly shifty too. Now, I do think it is a lighter type of formula, not a sheer per se, but if you have a very prominent free edge, you'll definitely want to go up to three coats and you might see just the slightest, slightest, slightest bit of your visible nail line in that regard. So in that case, again, a blurring base coat would be great, but I had great buildup on it myself. I just think, again, you'll want to go on just a touch ham on your coats. Dry time is excellent. No issues there. And you'll want to finish with possibly a glitter smoothing top coat underneath your glossy top coat, depending on how thick your preferred top coat is. And next is Child of the Elder Blood. This is a cool toned red base with a soft blue shimmer, fuchsia hollow glitters in various sizes. It does state in our PR info, this may stain, so definitely want to use a good base coat. I personally did not have staining on my falsies here, but I would still recommend a very, very good protective base. Child of the Elder Blood or Series Polish is a 
fantastic color. This is another one of my top picks in the set. This is stunning. Um, it's red, so of course my swatches got blown out of proportion. So please note my full hand shot here. It is so stunning. This is such a beautiful color. It does have larger scattered glitters that complement the shimmer so well. So it sparkles in this beautiful large particle twinkle type. You'll want to finish with possibly a glitter smoother too on this one. And here is Pearls on the North. This is a blackened blurple base with blue shimmer and silver hollow glitters in various sizes. This is another one of my favorites. I really enjoyed this one. This isn't what we typically see for these very glowy types of blues. This is more of what I would consider a deep, wintry, sultry type of blue as you build it up. It has a very similar formula to the Wild Hunt and how it builds up. I'm gonna suggest three coats for this too. Again, a blurring base if that bothers you and you have a very prominent free edge. Let this one build up deep and dark and you're perfect. Again, you might need to use a glitter smoothing top coat because it does have those yummy bigger particled glitters that give you that larger size twinkle. This is just straight deep jewel toned blue perfection. And next is my top top pick. This is Yennefer of Vangerberg, my favorite character. This is a magenta jelly base with blue shimmer and blue flakes finished off with a sprinkle of extra tiny silver hollow glitters. Of course, this is named after Yennefer and her beautiful eyes. This is so pretty once you build it up. It's one of those wanting to be neon type purples. It is incredibly vibrant and the shimmer just again complements it so, so well along with the flakes too. Now I'm going to suggest three coats here. It does also have a lighter type formula. I would use a blurring base coat of some type, whatever, something like that to start you off with a great foundation. Please note my camera freaked out in terms of my photos. So for color accuracy, please refer to my full hand shot. This is such a beautiful color. This as well as the others dry down flat. So you'll want to finish at least with a thicker glossy top coat at the very minimum. And next is another one of my top picks. This one is Geralt of Rivia, described as a clear base packed with orange gold iridescent flakes, black flakes, and hollow flakes and glitters. This is lovely. It does state in our PR information to make sure to use thin coats on it as you slowly build it up. And I do agree with that. You don't want to get this one real ham on each of your coats and overwork it. Just let it slowly build up. And I personally would take it up to three thin coats. This is of course very versatile as you can see between my layers that it can definitely be a topper, but by itself, it's stunning. It's got those lovely orange sort of UCC looking flakes and they shift between gold. Very pretty. I can see these representing Geralt's eyes and it sparkles so good. This is another one you might want to finish with a thin coat of a glitter smoother underneath your glossy top coat to just make it sing. And here is Witcher Trials. This is a cool toned bright gray curly base with a variety of iridescent and UCC flakes. This is finished off with a sprinkle of extra tiny silver hollow glitters for a subtle spark. So this one's the uh, neutral one out of the set. I would classify this as a milky type of finish. I think two to three coats is perfect depending on how you want it to look on your nails. If you want it to look more milky, I would stop at two coats. But for the sake of the video and my personal preference, I took it up to three. It does have a tiny bit of a semi gloss on how it dries down. So honestly, I think any top coat's going to be perfect. This is really pretty and I like that it has a cool neutral tone to the base color. Because of that, I think it's going to look good on pretty much any skin tone. And we're going to wrap up the video with the Willet Topper segment. This is where I use a black swatch stick to demonstrate if polishes have layering capabilities. Caramorin works. Like I said previously, I personally would wear this over a cobalt cream, not jelly, a cream to really pack a punch in opacity and all those good things. But I think it's gonna look great over a lot of colors. Monster Nest works. It is very tinted on the base. So please note that it is gonna take on a green cast. So I think dark colors and matchy match to save your bottle and conserve it would work best. The Wild Hunt also works. We've got that excellent shifty shimmer going on here. I think you can definitely play up with how you layer this. Child of the Elder Blood is so pretty. This is such a stunning color. It looks so vampy good over black. I think it could also look great over dark reds too. Pearls of the North works. I do think it's gonna vamp it out just a bit much, at least for my personal liking. Definitely up to you, but I do think it passes the test. Yennefer, so pretty. 
she works to over black it subdues that neonish sort of look but you get a ton flaky shimmery glowy payoff Geralt is stunning it looks like its own polish here over black so I think this would work over anything and witcher trials because it's got that milk bath sort of appearance to it I don't know I personally don't like it as a topper I would just wear this one by itself Okay, so international ordering is going on here. Uh, Valerie does state that the Witcher collection is going to launch on her site February 16th in her website. The exact time is to be announced at this point. You will be able to purchase an order to the United States. So those of us domestic to me, uh, you will be able to do that. And there will be more information as we get closer to the launch. There will be a pre-order through Nail Land. And there's also going to be a pre-order through Beauty in the Bottle. So if you are in uh, very, very not domestic to me locations, you'll be able to do that. I'm going to link Beauty in the Bottle and I'll also link Nail Land in the description box below if you are international and you uh, want to check those out. When I get more information, uh, I am recording this beforehand. I just wanted to make sure I had all of this ready to go for this week's launch. If I get anything updated, then I will have it in the description box. And I'm also going to have the updated information around my head here. I'm super stoked for Valerie on this launch. I hope it's super successful. She is a newer maker and she is just owning the game. I love it. So check out all the information in the description below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.